Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to repeat the characters in a regular expression. Let's try to see. Up to now, we haven't seen talked about this repeating of the characters when we are defining an expression. So up to now, we haven't talked about this one repeating. So how to repeat the characters of these things? So why we need means so sometimes you may need a character to repeat in order to find a match something like uh, s if you want to repeat if you want to check that repeating of that same character to in order to find a match so we need it sometimes <clears throat> so for these scenarios so normally regular expressions comes with three meta characters so it, it will come with three meta characters that allow you to indicate that the item should repeat so let's see about these three meta characters first one is in plus so plus meta character so this one what it will try to do is matches one or more occurrences so it will try to see one or more occurrences and another one is in question mark so this one matches zero or one occurrence okay so zero or one occurrence that's it and last one is a star so it matches matches zero or many occurrences or more occurrences anything more occurrences so this is these are the three meta characters which we use it for repeating the characters in it to find a match <clears throat> so first one is the plus which matches one or more so here question mark which matches zero or one and here star which matches zero or more so these are the three meta characters let's try to see this one so i am pasting here one text here she sells seashells on a seashore the shells she sells also something like it's a tongue twister i don't want to repeat this text so first let's try to write the regular expression for this one so first what i will be writing is so i want to find the capital a to z so here if you try to write a to z and here you will be able to find three matches something like s capital t and capital i so now if i try to use first one so that is nothing but a plus meta character if you try to see here plus that is nothing but matching one or more occurrences if you try to add plus here then also the output doesn't the matches doesn't change here it is trying to see that it should contain at least one or more capital letters for example let's say that if i am having here another capital letter it is able to find this one as combinedly as a one match see if i try to remove this one so now it, it will sorry, it will try to see here <coughs> as a different match see s and f are a different match so if i try to use plus here so immediately you will be able to see the match is happening here so now let's try to use another meta character that is nothing but a question mark so question mark here if we try to represent if we write to add here question mark so this is nothing but zero or more so that means it should it should contain nothing a to z or more so now here if you try to see here we are getting it as infinite yes this is correct why because so zero or one so zero or more not zero or more question mark is zero or one so we are trying to find at least zero or one so here it is able to find one and remaining all are zero only so that is the reason it is able to find the match so this type of things are infinite so when it comes to zero or one or zero or more occurrences so for example let's say star mark so then also you'll be able to get here, here it is an infinite thing so these are the two things which are very uh, somewhat uh, difficult that it will try to say the error thing infinite thing why because zero zero means nothing so it, it is matching so nothing is there here it is matching and also one or more matches star means more matches so for example let's say that you can also see how this regular expression this type of regular expression will match in the javascript let's try to see let's say that i am having a regular expression in a such a way that i can use like this and i am using a to z and this one is something like zero or one occurrence so this is the regular expression now what i will try to do zero regular test stop i am trying to use a e i o u something like this 
Now, if you try to see here, I'm able to get the true. So zero or more occurrences. So here you are able to get an error. But the same situation which I am trying to add it here, I am uh, I am getting it as true. So in JavaScript, you will not get an uh, error. So it will it will simply give you the true. For example, if I try to write a exec the exact method, so it needs to give you, give you the character which has which found that uh, match. So if you try to see here, it has found this first character index of zero. So here this is the way it has been found. So like this in JavaScript, it will try to represent. So here in this one, so you, this rejects file is throwing you an error that it is able to find infinite thing. Why? Because zero means infinite. So let's say that I will try to write another type of regular expression that as it needs to match S and it should be something like A to Z. Now here I will write one or more. So that means at least it should have after S one or more. So now if I try to write plus here, see now what it is happening here. So it has found the s it has found the s and afterwards we are trying to tell that find the characters between a to z and also one or more occurrence so that is the reason so here it is able to find up to where the space is there which cannot be which cannot which does not match with the regular expression so it is trying to match all the characters in this board so here this is called something like a greedy nature so normally the regular expressions aren't greedy but here when you try to mention the plus so it has become immediately the greedy thing so it is trying to match all the characters it has found the match so it is somewhat greedy in nature we'll try to learn about the greedy thing and laziness afterwards we'll try to see it now so if i try to place it question mark here now what it is happening so question mark means nothing but zero or one so here it is trying to check zero so that is nothing but s e so one it enough and here s is also it is trying to match why because so zero or one so that is a match it is trying to see so s e like this it is trying to match everywhere so if i try to use star mark so then what it will happen so if i try to use the star mark the same thing repeats here so how it, it has been repeated for one or more the same thing will be repeating for this star mark for example let's say that here i am having a single s so this one also matches here why because a to z is just zero or more whereas if you try to use the plus that single s will not match here so this single s is not matching that is the difference between the plus and the star thing if you uh, all the things are same but it will it will match the single s also so zero or more now let's say that i am trying to add another one so something like steve norman jeff so here i will try to use like this okay i'm having some text like this and now here i will try to write in a such a way that i need to find a to z okay and also a to z so now here i will try to mention one or more so here if you try to see instead of amanda everything has been matched steve norman jeff and everything has been matched so like this we will be writing for example let's say that I am having a text he pick apples from the apple tree okay i'm having a text like this now we are having an apples so now here it may be a plural apples or a singular apple so we need to match either of this apple we need to match it may it may be a plural or a singular so now if i want to mention that one so what i can do here i can write something like apples so that means here it is matching only only one so for example if i want to write here the so question mark so that means it is nothing but zero or one it is matching zero or one so here i am able to see the apple and apples if i try to mention another s here so it will not match so that s will not match so this is how we can so now here apple this all up to here it is mandatory and s is nothing but it can have a character zero or one zero or one time so this s cannot be or it, it should be present only one time so that is the reason it is trying to match it <clears throat> and also for example let's say that uh let's say that uh, if you are having an app pills okay it is matching right so if you're having multiple s's like this so if you want to do this one if you want to match this one you can use the star thing so now you can here you can have a multiple and also you can have a single single apple also or otherwise you can have an thing uh, single s also multiple s also that means here star is matching for zero or more 
so these are the different ways of implement of repeating the characters so using the meta characters so this is these are the different ways you will try to match it so we these are the three meta characters which are used for the repeating of the meta characters that is nothing but one is a plus okay one or more another one is a question mark that is nothing but zero or one and last one is the star mark zero or more occurrences so these are the three things you need to remember so normally these are little bit of difficult to understand so normally first time when you are trying to learn but while going on practicing and all those things you will be able to understand it so these are things you need to understand plus means one or more that's it question mark means zero or one star means zero or more so these are the repeating meta characters hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you